Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey here in Austin, Texas at the corner of uh, West William Canaan and uh, Menchaca. <laughs> I just did that clip like that and messed up, but I didn't mess up that time on the name, on one of the names. Look at my shadow, y'all. Uh, uh, that reminds me of being being glad I'm free from prison. I used to dance looking at my reflection in prison with in, with mirrors in my apartment or in my cell. And, and sometimes at night in the window, you know, that was like in front of our cells, not that close, but maybe uh, 15 to 20 feet from our cells. I used to see my reflection. And every now and then, another inmate had said, wow, man, I seen you last night, you was getting down. <laughs> well, they, he, he talking about seeing me from uh, sales, uh, in the build, sales in the building facing my people. <laughs> but anyway, thank God I'm free 15 years since 2008, and, I'm, and I can have better fun out here. You know, like, look at that. <laughs> uh, I was locked up when Cool and the Gang had out. Get down on it. it actually had it out. And, be, and before that. But anyway, thank God I'm free. Uh, it is 73 and it's a little bit too cool for me. Uh, hope everybody's having a great day, a great life. And uh, this is this coat here, Windbreaker, is one of the first ones I painted when I started dressing colorful about maybe three years ago. And it was all green, but I painted. But the paint didn't take too good on it. It kind of looked messy and dirty when I plucked it out and to wear it today. And I, I was thinking maybe I got to get rid of that. I, but, but on second thought, out here in the sun, it don't look too bad. It's just dimly like colored, you know, like some artwork like that. So plus it keeps me warm and it's not real thick, but it's thick enough, you know, to... Plus I got on a sweatshirt, long sleeve sweatshirt. I mean, I mean long arm sweatshirt under this. I just come from uh, uh, Sprouse or whatever that is beyond uh, on the back of that short stop. Uh, I wonder if I ever ate a burger at short stop. Maybe not. Uh, and I, I got some uh, some more popcorn for myself. You know. And I went to the store for a friend. My friend likes these, you know. Yabo Mate. I've been trying to pronounce that word. <laughs> when he be telling me, give me some Yabo Mate. Well, I finally got a Yabo Mate. You know what? I need to Google that. <laughs> but I think I'm closer than what I was. I was saying Yabo, Yerbo Mate. Yerbo? That might be how they say the first word. Anyway, it's some kind of caffeine. Uh, uh, it's uh, some kind of drink. I think it has coffee in it. Anyway, uh, he likes those. I ain't never heard them in my life till I started, you know, going to store for him. All right, uh, let us continue to pray for all of the wars and around the world. And uh, uh, may Israel get the war settled with the Palestinians. May they, may they work it out. May they all uh, uh, live in peace. And, and made a war in Ukraine uh, with Russia come to a good end, a uh, peaceful end. Uh, and may all the people that ex are experiencing natural disasters, floods, fires, earthquakes, it's been a lot of them lately, earthquakes, may they all rest in peace and may the survivors rebuild their lives and property. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, all of these and much more that's I almost killed this I almost stopped this recording <laughs> you know uh, but uh, uh, it's still recording anyway uh, before I go any further I want to oh wait a minute I got me some dark chocolate too what else I got I got me some a little bitty square deal of plastic deal of uh, uh, watermelon, little chunks of watermelon, and I got me some dark chocolate. 
I got a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate. This is the first time I'm eating milk chocolate. I had a hard time finding something that's not 85%, not, not 75%, not 60 some percent. And 60 some percent on up in dark chocolate is too bitter. Several occasions I've taken one bite and spit it out, you know what I'm saying? I throw it away and, I, and to keep from wasting money, I just, I get, get, them, get the dark chocolate like 55 on down. Uh, but I heard dark chocolate is good for you. But uh, it's not good for me to sit there and eat too much. A lot of times I eat the whole bar or half of the bar, you know. And what I'm glad is it's got health properties, but too much probably ain't good for me, even though it's organic like sugar. Uh, I still got my water bottles sporting, my Texas flags sporting, sporting. Uh, and uh, uh, Jesus Christ is on his way back and, uh, and I encourage everybody to be ready for him you know and he gave us the signs of the end that which we're seeing and we're seeing a lot of them converge you know and uh, uh and the last couple of years, we didn't see things like the world haven't seen, like uh, in a long time. The Bible says, "Just know also that in the last days, perilous or hard times should come." And Christ has promised to rapture Christians out of the world before the great tribulation come. And uh, the great tribulation will be the worst time ever. And I heard a brother say on on video on a video he do do, well on videos he do, that uh, uh, this could be a setting of a stage. The things that are going on today, setting of a stage for something worse, which is the tribulation. So Christians will be raptured, like I said, out of the tribulation. And I pray for the suffering Christians now, before the rapture, you know, and. Thank God for our freedom in America. And uh, we need to pray for other countries too, you know, that don't have such freedoms that, you know, law will keep his church, uh, you know, uh, safe and prospering and made the church in America. He keeps safe and prospering. And, uh, but I encourage you to be ready. And the way to be ready is to, uh, First of all, we must realize we're sinners and we deserve hell. Secondly, we must realize that God sent his son to pay for our sin. And thirdly, we must re receive Jesus Christ into our life based on his death and resurrection. Based on his death and burial and shed blood and resurrection for our sins. Okay, I didn't want to be saying everything and not... Uh, not be on record. Uh, oh, and uh, fourthly, when we do our, fortunately we we are saved when we call upon the Lord in sincerity, and uh, uh, then we will be ready for the rapture. By the way, there's a lot of videos of uh, of rapture dreams people are having, and different platforms on YouTube, different channels are sharing them, and. Uh, uh, Crystal Love for Jesus is, is, is one format where she shares, she shares a lot of Raptor dreams. And then uh, that's Crystal Love for Jesus. Crystal Love number four for Jesus. I think I got it right. Uh, but if you Google what I can see, it'll come up. You know? And uh, she's a young woman. It's a lot of young people. God is God. Maybe you'll be the last one to receive Christ for the rapture. You know, whoever whoever see this video and listen to this, and uh, but God will be still saving in the tribulation, but it will be much harder. Uh, practically all believers, you know, I don't know if not I don't know if all, but most of them gonna die for their faith in the tribulation. 
because the world dictator is going to want people to worship him as God. And when the people refuse his mark, uh, he will kill them. But God is going to preserve 144,000 witnesses, Jewish witnesses, through the tribulation to witness. They're going to be preserved. They're going to be preserved all the way through. Uh, uh, and, uh, Uh, God gonna have two supernatural witnesses uh, for himself in the tribulation. And they're gonna preach three in Jerusalem. They're gonna preach in the streets of Jerusalem for three, two and a half years. No, three and a half years. And then the, the, the beast, which is another name for that Antichrist, gonna overcome them and kill them. God is gonna lie to this. And the world going to not even allow them to be buried for three and a half uh, days. And they're going to be rejoicing because these two witnesses was able to, they, they, was, they had power to punish anybody in any kind of way that, is, that, pose a, that pose a threat to them or that try to hurt them. But... God, in other words, God is keeping the door open for that witness, whether people heed, heed him or not. Uh, God, and God is, when he allowed them to be overcome and killed, that means God has adequately warned people. They're going to be preaching in the streets of Jerusalem. And, and, and the reason for that, I think, is to give Orthodox Jews those Jews that haven't believed that Christ come the first time, give them a chance, give them an opportunity, you know. And, uh, and I believe the 144,000 are going to be preaching to everybody, you know. Uh, all the Gentiles, you know, all the nations and tongues and so forth. The Bible is translated in about 500, 5,000 languages, I believe. And I think there's 7,000, I read, 7,000 languages and dialects I read on, on YouTube. And, uh, and, uh, but in the tribulation, everybody that the word of God has not reached yet uh, going to have an opportunity. And it's going to be a lot of people, thousands come out of all them tribes and languages that haven't heard the word of God incessantly, like America, you know, and maybe some other countries. Uh, and right now, even before those, those days come, Sarah Ministries... I believe that's what to type in and get to her ministry. Sarah Ministries is a woman that's on the streets of Jerusalem right now, preaching. And then she has help from another woman. And then I seen a guy helping her the other day. So I, I, uh, subscribe, you know, and, and when I be looking at her ministries, I just be praying for God to open the hearts of the Jews that don't believe in the Messiah. And uh, so they can become part of the church. So God is church saving right now Jews or Gentiles who want to become part of the church. But he has a plan for his people in the nation, the nation of Israel during the tribulation. And uh, uh, anyway, let us continue to pray for the situation in the news, y'all. Uh, for the best for both sides. Okay, now what else I want to do here? Uh, we believers can get excited because any day now Jesus is coming back. Okay, uh, I ate at McDonald's today and uh, with a friend, and uh, I'm back with the internet. Uh, that's some I've signed up for internet again, and uh, because my friend helped me get the that ended up NBA site, you know, back working good, and but I'm getting I'm, I'm getting some buffering, not much, but uh, I'm getting some buffering. So uh, if I'm gonna do something, I might well do it the best I can do it. So I'm back with the internet. Which one? Which one? Which one is it though? <laughs> I can put that in the comment. I don't know, I don't know why I can't uh, think of. Uh, Oh, 
I believe it's AT and T fiber. Yeah, AT and T fiber. Uh, I believe it's that. I will confirm or not that in the comments. All right. I want to lip sync a song, but uh, uh, he he is the son of God. I want to lip sync that. The wind may allow me. Maybe I can before I go in. So what whatever is needed to go in the fridge, I got in my cooler. Matter of fact, get it all fitted now. Uh, some pineapple for my friend and uh, some uh, them them them, them uh, watermelon. I'm struggling for stuff to come out of my head to talk. I'm struggling for my thoughts to get out verbally and without stumbling out on my words and making mistakes. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I like my bag here. This. It's the two notches have not un unraveled right there yet. Right there. Yeah, right there. But on this side, they unravel. But I, I staple those two parts that came loose, I staple them together, and put a lot of tape around it, and it's holding up. And when the other side unravel, I know what to do. I have two mattress sides. But if it ain't broke yet, don't fix it. <laughs> if it ain't broke yet, don't fix it. <laughs> All right, it's cold, but it's, it's, it's not unbearably cold. That's plain, y'all. Let me see, can I zoom in on my phone? You get it. Anyway, made it get there safely. Oh, I got it. There it is. I just can't see how something that weighs tons and tons. I know it's at least over 20 tons. Probably over 30 tons. I may have lost it. Uh, it made it get there safely anyway. But uh, mankind is smart. God gave man that knowledge. And I googled it one time. How do a plane stay up? And it had something to do with the wind, with the thrust, with where the plane is built and so forth. I don't remember everything I read. Okay, uh, my Dallas Cowboys is in second place in, the, in their division, which is called the NFC East. And they play tomorrow night, Monday night. Today is the uh, 15th. And, uh, and uh, the Eagles is in first place you know, in that division. So I'm, I'm hoping the Eagles lose. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eagles, but I'm hoping the Eagles lose uh, to New York. Uh, well, I don't know if they're going to lose lose to the New York Jets because I don't think they're that good. But anyway, I want Dallas to uh, either get tied with Philadelphia in that division or get on top of them. You know, uh, get on top of the division. Uh, I'm pretty sure Eagle fans wish the opposite. But they got a good team. Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback. Uh, made it all the way to the Super Bowl. So, if, if Dallas can't excel in my division, make somebody else in the NFC East do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I ain't hating against them, but I'm just a Cowboys fan. And, and uh, uh, in the mid-90s, 92, 93, 94, 95, the NFC East, three, yeah, 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 the NFC East won four Super Bowls out of that division. I was proud of my Dallas Cowboy division in, in 92, 93, 94. Wait, no, no. 92, 93, 94. They won. Wait a minute. The Wash, I mean, the Giants won in 91. Uh, Washington won in 92. Dallas won in 90. 
93 and 94. Okay, I, I got it. I got it right that time. Uh, uh, so, yeah, 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 that, that's right. There's another plane, y'all. Made it get there safe law, so. Anyway, okay, what else I want to say before I close this video? Uh, hello, hello, Alton. It is Alton, y'all. It feel like a mild winter, but that's okay. Oh, my friend got this for early birthday, I mean early Christmas present. These long johns. Early Christmas too. <laughs> Cause they, they look Christmas like. And I haven't worn these socks in a while. Uh, they uh the yellow is going with my yellow shorts. Okay, uh the purple under here going with the purple in my tennis shoes and the orange gloves go with my orange uh, uh, go with my own shoe strings, the gloves, that is. And uh, pink shirt go with the pink in them uh, long johns, legs. Okay, uh, anyway, let me get ready to get on back to my apartment. I'm glad to get back with on the videos, y'all. Got to everything. All right. Peace, everybody. I'm out.